The Council session comes as part of efforts to enhance cooperation between the UN and the African Union, but multiple crises from COVID-19, economic challenges and humanitarian needs are made more complex by instability, conflict and illegal power grabs. The continent continues to be confronted by multiple threats to the territorial integrity of some of its nations and many of its civilian populations have been put under serious threat. In several instances, the situation of instability is complicated by an opportunistic convergence of interests amongst different actors, not only within the conflict areas, but from also outside the continent. This unfortunate development is reflected in the happenings in the Sahel and the Lake Chad region, parts of East, North and Central Africa, where ongoing conflicts, the destabilizing activities of terrorists and extremists, the profiteering activities of purveyors of conflict, and the devastating effects of climate change and COVID-19 have resulted in a deadly cocktail with dire consequences for our socio-economic, political and security situation. He also pointed to further instability being introduced by the overthrow of constitutional governments in Mali, Chad, Niger, Guinea and most recently in Sudan, but also indicated that these challenges were not necessarily beyond the response mechanisms of Africa's peace and security architecture. The African Union this week suspended Sudan from participation in the sub-regional body until the effective establishment of a civilian-led transitional authority after the military takeover there on Monday. As extremism, coups, climate change and COVID-19 undermine the critical development agenda for the region, encapsulated in the Sustainable Development Goals. The conflict in northern Ethiopia continues unabated, despite appeals by the African Union and the United Nations for a permanent ceasefire and unhindered humanitarian access to the Tigray region. In the Sahel and throughout the Lake Chad Basin region, we face persistent threats to terrorism and violent extremism from groups affiliated to Al-Qaeda, Daesh and Boko Haram, and we are seeing a proliferation of militia. Across Africa, the COVID-19 pandemic has exacerbated poverty, inequalities and all the drivers of conflict. Kenya's president, whose term leading the council ends on Sunday, lauded the relationship between the UN and AU as having produced a number of reforms under the umbrella of good governance, but called for greater inclusion as a key dimension of state building. The recent upsurge in coups, which we have thought we had left behind have also exasperated these negative effects. In this regard, Kenya expresses her deep concern regarding the recent political developments in Sudan and indeed calls for the restoration of a civilian authority as soon as possible. Again, in this regard, we express our deep concern regarding similar developments across our continent, and we call for the immediate restoration of civilian processes. He also called for the upcoming climate conference in Glasgow to produce tangible results that will allow for strong green growth in Africa. Sherwin Bryce Pease, SABC News, New York.